Sup, bitches, we live. By live, I mean recording on the YouTubes instead of streaming on the YouTubes and or the tweeters, i.e. the way most of your content is consumed. Welcome to Movie Shit. We have a new intro. Whoopee. Um, one joined by my colorful and not-so-colorful co-host. Willow, why don't you introduce yourself? I am Willow Red Raven, and I don't know much about movies as these guys. And... <laughs> uh, I had uh. to slap the... The... Sl- the wor- word asleep. Uh, the, the, my, my more colorful commentator. I'm drunken stepdaddy. <laughs> Or Cowboy Maui. Yeah. So, our first story. Now that I slapped the sleeve away, Jesus Christ. Yeah, feel good about yourself <laughs> right now? I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> Patty Jenkins is reportedly returning to the director's chair to helm the second film in the Wonder Woman franchise. As she was so instrumental in starting... She's finalized negotiations for directing, which would elevate her as the highest paid female director in town. Who gives a shit? That that are your thoughts on that? Wonder Woman. Boobs. Sexy ass actress. I don't fucking care about who the fuck the director is. Who's a good fucking movie? I don't give a damn. But then you have a lot of people going, it's because a woman directed his wife. Who the fuck cares? I don't care if it was a fabuloso gay guy. Boobs. It was fucking Wonder Woman, honestly. Was I there for the fucking plot? No. Oh, you misogynist pig. Suck. My colorful cock. I don't really care. (laughs) Tell us how you really feel. Boobs. Oh, your thoughts. <laughs> um, yes, I did hear that on the first movie she was a little um, possibly taken advantage of. Um, so good for her on getting all that straightened out. But yeah, um, also, I also don't care who directed it if it's a good movie. Because you went for the plot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both <Dang. of> that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying Wonder Woman was a slightly above average film, but for DC that was well above par for the course, so <laughs> fucking shooting a birdie. <laughs> um They got like a ninety something. So Yeah, it makes perfect sense for them to come back. So, moving along, we have dun 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 epic music and loud noises on the mic. Da 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 da. da. The fuck just happened? Oh, are you filling that in for Obi Wan Kenobi standalone movie in the works by director Stephen Daldry, according to a report from the Hollywood Reporter? The long-running rumored standalone Obi Wan movie has finally come to fruition. The trade announced yes, not yesterday. Uh, trade announced that Oscar-nominated filmmaker Stephen Daldry is in early talks to helm the movie with sources for the trade saying the talks are only in very early stages. So early, in fact, they don't even have a script. If the deal goes through, Daldry would oversee the development and writing with Lucasfilm. Also in the report, the casual mentions that Lucasfilm was also looking at a Yoda and Boba Fett movie, though no more details were given. God. As for the Obi-Wan movie, no release date has been set, nor is there confirmation that Ewan McGregor would be reprising the role. Resident Star Wars nerd. Um, thoughts on Obi-Wan Kenobi movie? All right. And let's go. Let's take this one bit at a time. Thoughts on Obi-Wan Kenobi movie? Yeah, well, I, I agree with that. Um, all right. Um, as as we get more and more news about this coming Obi-Wan Kenobi movie and about the coming Han Solo movie. How they're handling the Han Solo movie and how they're overall Disney's cocking this whole thing up. I'm losing faith. And you know me. Uh, Kimmy, I would suck George Lucas's dick for a goddamn quarter. Um, <coughs> not literally. Don't, don't you quote me, you fuck. <laughs> um, it's on the internet. It's already been quoted. <laughs> whatever. Um, 
I'm losing faith. I'm really getting worried that they are going to monumentally fuck this up. And Obi-Wan, I really hope they do they do right, but they don't have a script yet. Well, that, that, that's what they meant by how early in production it is. They want, hey, we want to do this. Let's look for directors, and they're probably looking for writers and all that. They want board meeting. Hey, we want to do this, and maybe that guy. I feel like this timetable is just getting pushed back and pushed back. We're probably not going to see this movie until 2020 or 2021. Well, like, Disney Slate's already kind of full to begin with, so... I'm so... Like, that, sick that's of why the I said it's, like, early in talks. Yeah, I'm so sick of the Disney stamp, and they are going to cock this up. I mean, worse than a white trash gangbang in the trailer park. Because, at best, this comes out after... Episode, episode 9, I would say. Way too late. Not like, well, that's just how movies get made. I know, I'm saying, I'm like saying for the Obi-Wan. No, I, I'm saying, like... And then what hope do we have for Yoda and fucking Boba Fett? We're gonna, we're gonna have Boba Fett's fucking great-grandson already on screen now for this shit. By the time we get the Boba Fett movie. I mean, you think about it if they're just sticking with one movie a year until they decide to change that. Which inevitably is Disney. They will go and finally have this machine kind of up and running. Let's take some cues from Marvel. Slowly work our way up to three films rather than pull a DC and go, uh, ten Shotgun. films in production. <laughs> okay, redo that one, that one, that one. Stop that one. Move that one over there. Change that one, that one, that one, that one. Eh, okay, okay, we're working on like two films now. Okay, one, two films. Yeah. Three films. My, what, my confidence level right now in this whole endeavor uh i'm waiting for star wars episode 10 featuring the return of sith lord mickey mouse <laughs> oh, you're gonna get fucked we up. have last jedi coming out this year and han solo movies slated for 2019 yeah well 2019 next year mm-hmm so if Han Solo, like, we have Last Jedi this year and Han Solo next year, that would leave Episode Nine the following year, and if they followed with that pattern, by then the Obi-Wan movie would have been through production, and production on these two would have started. So, yes. since Star Wars is probably way too big of a franchise for them not to keep milking... They're gonna would, fuck it up. They, they'd probably go, okay, now we'll move on to Episode Ten, or maybe their goal is to end the episodic thing and just go milk 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 squeeze a titty and keep on pulling one more take like a marvel approach instead of going like okay take actually it's usually a dc property for sake of argument say like crisis of infinite earths like start to finish finish that storyline and then after the fact go okay you want to see they're going to split them up, sexualize them, and, like, and make them in different movies. So, sort of treat it like superhero. Go like, okay, you want to see Obi-Wan? Here. You want to see Yoda? Here. Boba Fett? Here. Random character that no one fucking knew about and now everybody loves? Here. Because you know they're going to do that with, like, one character. They're going to go... If it's Jar Jar Binks, I will burn down Disney World. I want the true Jar Jar storyline to have happened. <laughs> Not the George Lucas reactionary Well, people didn't seem to like what I was doing, so I'll bend. Like, no, your original script was cool. I want Jar Jar Binks to be a Sith Lord. That's where they were going. I want to. And then he caved like a bitch. Why would he cave? Because the backlash from Jar Jar was so bad he's afraid no one would see his masterpieces anymore. He was in the fucking prequels. Had, like, imagine the payoff of seeing Jar Jar slowly reveal his evil side. I would love to see Jar Jar as instead of that would make the prequels Snoke much fuck. better. Because... By then, you could excuse his weird-ishness in one, and then it had not be so out of place in two and three, because well, they have intent well, at that point. Well, what was, what was the whole thing about... We watched the YouTube video. They were they were discussing the clumsy kung fu or some shit like that, some yeah. art of actually using clumsy missteps as a yeah, form of combat. Yeah, sort of like drunken fist, yeah, like I, hide I, your movements. 
I was so excited and damn near creamed myself thinking Jar Jar Binks might be a Sith and then fucking Snoke looks like your average crackhead at the trailer park. What if Snoke's fucking Jar Jar? That'd be hilarious. What? Jar Jar gave himself the fucking board. <laughs> Jar Jar went treatment? through some shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would have been. It would have been how many years since Revenge of the Sith? Was, oh, Vader's like a granddad by now. Yeah, grand, damn near a great grandfather. So His kids are old enough to be great grandfathers. Well, be... fucking Ray, whatever the fuck her name is, possibly Skywalker. Because, y'all, we had to know Luke was getting some space poon. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I don't think... She just could be force sensitive. I don't think it might have been Skywalker, because... As we know, more people fucking survive than just Anakin and Obi-Wan. I, I know. Like, she could just be like parents who went, yeah, no, uh, we on the run, they don't know you're our kid. We're fucking the hell off. Sorry, bitch. To you, sir, was <laughs> to pack and gats and stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, Willow, your thoughts on this, because I feel like we've been hogging this for a while. <laughs> uh, uh, it's too early, and yeah, they could have just waited and leaked all this stuff later, is my opinion. It's just... Not enough information too soon, and like you said, it's we're just gonna Disney's has a really good chance to fuck this up. True, but the track record as of late has been pretty solid. What you don't want to see, Darth Donald? Oh fuck, no. Or I don't know, Goofy Fett. Ah, but yeah. I mean, um, who wouldn't? I mean, you're gonna get yucked up. Yup. <laughs> Why you oh, my fucking god. Anyhow. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Um. Moving on. What is this? The It movie projected to open big in September, according to The Hollywood Reporter. <laughs> yeah, Early no. tracking reports have come out for the movie It and for Stephen King fans hoping for a successful debut. Prepare to get happy. The trade reports that Warner Brothers and New Line Horror Film and New Line Horror and New Line Horror Film could clear as much as $50 million or more on the first weekend in release, which for September would be extremely high. Scoring the biggest September debut of all time, insiders for Warner, however, are being more cautious, saying it could land in the 40 to $45 million range, noting that a sluggish marketplace and the fact that September has never been known for huge openings could be a factor. Uh, well, thoughts on it possibly opening between 40 and $50 million? I mean, it has a huge fan following, but this is just all speculation, so. Um, well, this is like projections. Sick but, bunch of fucks. I don't really know. I'm not a forecaster, so. But that's... I don't know, they might have their hopes a little too high. It's a fucking horror film. About a goddamn clown. I get it's retro. I get hipsters dig that retro bullshit. And white people go hard in for horror movies. You know what? I'll see that. I'll, probably, I'll bet money down that it'll make $40 million and $45 million in the first opening weekend. Boo Boo 2. Medea Halloween, bitch. This is bullshit. It's a goddamn clown that eats children, lives in the fucking sewer. I'm more terrified of a sewer gator. Fuck clowns, fuck this movie, there's not a shot at 480 to 50 million. No. No. I mean, I think conservatively it might land in that 40 to 45 because the last it is a cult classic. That is, yes, is. an almost undeniable fact. The fact that it seems to be drawing more from the book and taking itself a little more seriously other than the Tim Curry version, which went a little more campy. You would get those people and people who grew up with the cult classic to go, cool. And then you have people who are like our age who are like kids when it came out and never saw it and went, ha, pun. And then go, okay, that looks like a decent enough horror movie. And we're forgetting the elephant in the room here is they have a kid from fucking Stranger Things in the movie. Yeah, fuck Stranger yeah. Things! And we well, all know the juggernaut time. what that was, though. Yes, it was a fucking juggernaut. It was. Sadly, 
It was. It was it, the, the whole show was a fucking ten year old's nightmare written in crayon on a piece of paper turned into a fucking movie. This will be the exact same. I love the original it. I did. Not excited for this. It's going to be fucking terrible. And the only other reason I put precedent into this is dipping into a little bit of TV-esque is initially the Inhumans IMAX release was supposed to be two weeks long. It's now being reported that a theater at their discretion because of... The whole clown it, I get, thing? No, I guess, well, no, more the whole it being projected to be a bigger movie because normally what happened with Inhumans was IMAX needed a two-week slot filled because they had no films coming out. All of a sudden, it comes along and goes, hey, we open a week after. So if IMAX already has a deal with fucking Disney and went, we're going to wane on it a little bit and let this other movie at a theater's discretion take it over, I mean... Theaters are prepping for it to be a big draw, at least for their IMAX theater. Oh, yeah, because nothing beats jump scares in 3D. You know my opinion on horror movies. This, this is... I really want it to be good. I don't think it's going to be 50 million good. Maybe low 40s. But overall, I have very little faith. But then I'm also a bottle of wine down right now, so. Alrighty, and moving on to bullshit or cool shit. The first trailer for The Killing of a Sacred Deer has dropped. A24 released the first trailer. Uh, the, Yorgor, the Yorgos Lathanamos film, I just fucking butchered that dude's name, yes. stars Colin Farrell as a top cardiologist who has a twisted relationship with a young man played by... Barry Keoghan? Keoghan. Yeah. That threatens his family and career. The film also stars Nicole Kidman, Raffrey Cassidy, Sonny Suljic, Bill Camp, and Alicia Silverstone. Well, uh, bullshit or cool shit on this trailer. From the guy who uh. bought us the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm calling bullshit. This looks like a really um, bad novel that someone's going to want to read on a weekend, but not, not go see on a movie. I don't know. I was not impressed. Do I really need to say yes. what I feel about this? Yes. Are you oh. fucking kidding me? I wouldn't watch this shit at two in the morning on Telefucking Mundo. This is absolute crap. I watched the trailer with you, didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Welcome <laughs> to how that director works. Yeah, so this is gonna be shit. If I'm if 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 I was this frustrated Frustrated. Watch it get like an 80 to like 97 on Rotten Tomatoes. Because Rotten Tomatoes are more drunk than I am. It's absolutely well, fucking I... bullshit. I only say that because the lobster, which What's if you hell? don't know what you're walking into, you go, why the hell does this have a 94? It's because it's a super dark comedy. Yes, it is very much a dark comedy. And most people can't take humor A on that level and B appreciate the dark comedy so those go what the fuck is this I feel like your reaction to this trailer is exactly what's happening of it might have aimed a little too high lobster. This, do you, have you read this fucking book if this is a book is this a book it's about to go burn down a Barnes and Noble <laughs> probably was I don't know but they're calling this not a comedy though this is a psychological horror psychological yeah, but... horror yes I will have psychological issues after watching this the Lobster also had, like, a bit of that psychological horror-esque feel to it. So if he just... Like, more people would have called that more like a psychological movie rather than a dark comedy. You have to be a pretty sick, twisted, sadistic fuck to call The Lobster a funny movie. It was funny as fuck. Case in point. There you go. <laughs> Your daddy's a drinker, baby. So, the trailer itself was... Okay shit like it didn't make me more or less excited to see it it just made me aware of existence of its existence which i guess is good enough because hooray mere exposure effect it was it was absolutely trash 
absolutely fucking trash. Like it may, I, I didn't know it existed, and now I really am absolutely, absolutely angry that I know it exists. Tell Luna, me something bad any closing thoughts on this? Nope, I think I think he summed it up. You think he pretty well summed it up? Oh yeah. I'm a pretty passionate person about my what I'm going to waste my life on sitting in a fucking dark theater for two and change. And so moving on, we have Girls Trip breakout star Tiffany Haddish joins Kevin Hart in the new comedy Night School. The Hollywood reporting is that breakout star, breakout star from Girls Trip, Tiffany Haddish, because they have to repeat it twice so you remember, has joined the cast of Universal's comedy, comedy Night School. They had to say it three times so you remember starring kevin hart twice so you remember <laughs> say so i remember one more fucking time the movie will follow a group of misfits who are forced to attend adult classes in the long shot chance they'll pass the ged exam such a black film <laughs> haddish will reunite with universal and her girl strip director malcolm d lee on a script that is based on a story by kevin hart in case you forgot he was in it. God damn it. And it's written by Hart, in case you forgot he was in it. <laughs> Harry Richford, Joey Wells, and Matt Kellard with additional script work by Nick Stoller. Well, though, thoughts on Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish starring in Night School, You're so none of you forget about this You're auditory movie. witnesses to a fucking murder with a goddamn <laughs> bottle opener. <laughs> God. I mean, I, I can see why um, Girls Trip did good, so they're gonna want to pull from that, but, um... Trip? No, I didn't. I want to. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> it's definitely a black so people I... film, though. Yeah, so I didn't see that, and I'm not gonna see this. Well, fuck you, then! <laughs> I just think Willow has something against black people. I really do! Hey, hey, hey. I firmly agree! And I'm gonna make <laughs> that hard statement that no one ever comes back from in the media. Willow? Are you racist? <laughs> uh, I'm just, just a white suburban housewife. We'll leave it at that. So racist. Everyone's a little bit racist. So a a round thoughts on Taffany Haddish joining Kevin Hart in Nat School. First off, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, say so, you no. Know, I can't remember which bitch this was. All I know is I love Girls Trip. Funnier than fuck. I don't remember the actresses. I'm never gonna remember the actresses. Just like you don't remember anybody else in Medea except for Tyler fucking Perry. That one. Oh, she was that fine ass bitch. Oh, hell yeah. I don't give a damn about her going to school, which is the only point, only part of this. But the only redeeming fact that I'm really hoping for right now is that it's Kevin fucking Hart and her funny, sexy ass. It's going to be a funny fucking movie. Who cares about night school? But I'm going to laugh my ass off. It's going to be one of those things like how I hated Sausage Party, but I laughed my ass off the entire time. So I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm going to hate myself for the fact that I enjoyed it. Kind of like sleeping with a young little white blonde girl. So you're calling cool shit on this? I'm calling meh. <laughs> Alright. I'll call cool shit. I mean, can't really say anything that they haven't said. She seems talented. She pretty she's on SNL or uh Daily Show, I forget which one, but I think I've seen her in a porno. Give me a second. <laughs> Everyone starts somewhere. Uh yeah, Kevin Hart, you either like his shtick or you don't. It might work in a school. Bet she likes his shtick. <laughs> so, seeing his girl's trip is well received, and Kevin Hart's still a hot commodity right now, and he's cashing in on it while he knows he can. I'll call cool shit for now. Before it gets too high. <laughs> he's so Before small. it gets too high for him to reach the shelf. He's so small. <laughs> Alright, Willow, we'll start with you on this next point. The nurse short film... The Nurse short film won Conjuring short film contest thanks to a heads up posted by ScreenRant.com. The short film known as The Nurse has won the Conjuring Universe's short film contest. I knew I'd seen her in porn. They had to say it twice. The competition was announced last month by Annabelle creation director David S. Sandberg and asked for aspiring filmmakers to craft their own short 
in the style of James Wan's Conjuring franchise. Well, uh, thoughts on the nurse being done in the Conjuring style, or the nurse in general, bullshit or cool shit? I'm gonna call bullshit because the suspense was good, but it made the for uh, it just made the climax not as worth it. And we all know you love a good climax. Yep. Hey, hey, Ron, thoughts on the I know nurse? No, you're not asking me my thoughts on that bullshit ass fucking movie. You know I am. God damn it. What the actual fuck was your plan? To make Good. something in James Wan's Conjuring style. Are you fucking kidding me? Your trailer is a little fucking blind girl? No, that, that, that's a short film that won. That was the whole thing. He's making a face right now. What? <laughs> that was the film? You wasted five minutes of my two. Fuck. It felt like five years. <laughs> you wasted two minutes of my valuable fucking time on that. And that was the fucking movie. If it was the trailer, I'd let it at least slide. That was Fucking awful. What child actor's bullshit career just got fucking tanked by two minutes of unadulterated blind kid bullshit? Who the fuck played the nurse? It looked like Lindsay goddamn Lohan back from the fucking grave. Wait, she ain't even dead yet. God damn, that was the biggest waste of my fucking time. And what kind of goddamn hospital were you in? <laughs> what hospital still has sisters? What country were you in? What the fuck was that? And what did any of that have to do with the empty fucking glass that she dropped on the fucking ground, which started spinning like a goddamn dreidel? What the fuck? I am actually physically angry and in pain right now because of the amount of bullshit that was stuffed into two minutes. Why did she look like Leatherface at the end? And why did that child look like the terrible X-Men origin Wolverine fucking version of Deadpool? What the fuck? There's really Damn it! All them short films, buddy. It was a short film. It was two minutes. It was really short. God damn it, my blood pressure's too fucking high right now. Son of a bitch. The, the glass was her presumably getting a drink of water, as she does say she's thirsty. And then shenanigans ensued. Shenanigans? She was about to get raped by goddamn Leatherface She-Man. That was bullshit! And how many fucking of those nasty ass nurses were in that goddamn building? Or was it just the one? And why the fuck is your nurse wearing some 1800 style Catholic nun gear when you have a call button on the wall? And where the fuck was your TV? Sit back and watch your goddamn Amanda Bynes on Nickelodeon back in 2005. Shut the fuck up. Be thirsty. It's middle of the goddamn night. It is dark outside. There is no reason for you to get your blind ass up out of bed. What are you going to do? Go look for somebody? I believe that's what she was the doing. What yes. was your plan? <laughs> God damn it. I want to beat you with your IV fucking holder thing that you were holding it to stand up on. I want to beat your fucking skull in, you little Deadpool. What the fuck? God damn, I was waiting for your mouth to get sewed shut. You were so <laughs> shitty. Who are you even? What child actor are you? I'll be sure to keep a lookout. So next time I see you in anything, I call bullshit. That's Fuck! How you really feel, man? Jesus, my head hurts. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking movie. I'm so mad at you right now. And Will, I'm more mad at you. What'd I do? You were white. <laughs> I feel like that was some shit you'd have done as a child in a goddamn Catholic hospital. I'm blind. Let me go step out into the fucking hallway. Well, I watch this. What? You know what? I might call cool shit. I will fucking end you! <laughs> I'll make a short film out of murdering you with this <laughs> bottle opener!
simply because they didn't catch atmosphere right when they had the blatant chance for a fucking jump scare. They had the fucking restraint not to sell out Hollywood style and go for it. They sold out at the very fucking end. We all knew it was going to be a jump scare. We all knew that nurse was going to be some horrifying bullshit. And you know what? They didn't even do a good enough job on that. What the fuck? She looked like Sebastian from The Little Mermaid if it was a live action. You know, you know that's going to be a thing, right? Fuck! <laughs> Okay, so they had two chances for a actual jump scare. They actually just went for this slow reveal rather than... Ah! See, I could I, I could have at least respected the selling out. At least you did it like, haha, that's tacky. That overall sucked ass. I couldn't even say it was tacky. It was just shitty. Also, it was two minutes, so, you know, not a whole lot of time wasted. Imagine if that was just like an hour and a half, two hour film. Just that stretch... Stop. Wouldn't fucking surprise me. <laughs> Why was that released? Why did you waste my time? And how many thousands of dollars did you put into that bullshit? Maybe even a goddamn million. You retarded hipster, green tea drinking, bullshit, no lens glasses wearing, hair slick, back loving, retro car driving fucks. God damn it. Holy shit! <laughs> Did you just shit yourself? <laughs> oh. Hello, God man. damn it. Anyone thoughts on this? Oh my god. I need a beer. <laughs> well, luckily we get to end on a little bit better note. Oh, okay, so we're just moving on. <laughs> <laughs> God damn right. <laughs> Anyhow, everyone, go look for the nurse on YouTube. And then have this rant prepared afterwards and just watch it on repeat. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed tonight listening to a small child crying. <laughs> on repeat. <laughs> Pretty sure, uh, you know, not, not, not gonna go there. Okay, anyhow, moving on. King's Man, the Golden Circle TV spot. Released. I'll call cool shit. It's King's Man. It did some cool ass shit. Like Eggsy shooting out of a briefcase. Mm -hmm. Next to Harry holding fucking machine gun. Small spoiler alert. Why the fuck is the, his boss still alive? He took one directly to the head from a 45. But there was no blood splatter through the back in a movie where they did not shy away from the gore. His head made of fucking titanium? That was bullshit. Saying there was no mist out the back. Either way, I say cool shit. The only thing I truly remember and enjoyed about the original Kingsman was the goddamn princess at the end saying we can do it in the ass if you save the fucking day. And Samuel goddamn Jackson. And that dark, or that light skinned bitch with knives for fucking legs. That shit was hot. Channing Tatum. Is he in it? Yeah, he is in it! This is gonna be great! Halle Berry. Fuck Halle Berry. Elton John. He's dead. No, he's not. Elton he's John? Dead. Who am I thinking of? No, fuck you guys. Elton John is dead. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm not that stupid or not that drunk. <laughs> Apparently you are. So, Willa, you're nice. Uh, this trailer looked fucking awesome. Um, But tell me, would I like the first one? I haven't seen it yet. Yes, you, you would love the first one. The fuck is wrong right. with you? First one a was a cinematic masterpiece that I saw five times before it came out in theaters. Legally! Legally! Legally, people! There's ways to do it. I will not divulge. <laughs> God damn it, was that awesome. Buy the bootleg. Buy the official release, man. King's Biz worth it. What? So... Cool you shit. heard our cool shit. Super colorful thoughts on Elton the John nurse. is alive. 
We told you. I thought he was dead. No, nah, no. Nah. Very much alive. So, with all that being said, thank you all for coming out. Willow, where can people find you if they want to be stalkers um, and shit? You can find me on Twitter and everywhere else at Willow Red Raven. Or throw your money, whatever they want. You can find me on, uh, what is it fucking called? Uh, 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 Discord at Cowboy Maui. Come visit the fucking ranch so I can dutifully ignore you. And I'm sure you can figure out where to find all my stuff. I believe in you. I don't. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I was gonna disappoint hey, your stepdaddy. Thank y'all for coming out. This has been Movie Shit. Come back. Late Tuesday evening, early Wednesday morning for the next one. So I can have my own little fucking conniption if I see if I can have an aneurysm this time. We're, we're gonna try to Blake, Blake this one. Break this one. Blaking him turns him into an absolute California douchebag, right? Is he out in California? Douchebag. He Wait, went there to be I'm a DJ, him. and now he's going to be an EMT. Blake Coulter? You realize I'm going to have to beat that down, right? I don't fucking care. Fuck him. Fuck his sister. Fuck his mom. Fuck his little brother. Fuck that entire church. Fuck that youth group. Matter of fact, fuck you. Fuck Willow. Fuck this channel. I feel better. I'm going to have to question most of your standards of women right now. What? What? In the butt? Tifa. Uh. <laughs> Anyhow. That was a nice closing bit. Bye-bye. <laughs>